John 5 with Sugarfoot Rag. This is a CBT guitar lesson for Lee. Lee, one of the toughest songs I've done. This thing's a beast. It's eight pages. Um, standard tuning. John 5. I love his approach to playing, man. He's a... Uh, He's great, he's great. So section 1A, let's jump right in. Um, 7, 9, G. He's doing a pick, he's doing fingers in here. You'll have to experiment, man. Um, but you're gonna alternate pick these first three notes, 7, 9, and then 8, B. No palm meat on that, so you have. So check it out. Short rest, palm mute, um, everything else here. 8, 10, 8, 8. And then 5, 7, G. And then on the B, 6, 6, 6, 8, 6. Uh, no palm mute on the last one, and then slide. So it's like, slow down. Then um, 2 on the B, hammer to 3, and then 3, E. The short rest there, and that's a hold. And then three open, pull off on the B. One open, pull off on the B. And then palm mute alternate pick. Two open on the G and D. And then an open G. So you have. Oops. Okay, that kind of a main hook it does that two times um, and then section 1b six seconds in down up open G into this groove um, 3 2 GB slide up a half step do that twice so and then open GB and then back to the part twice open two hammer on in the D to an open G so that sounds like this And then right back to that groove. And then he has this really cool um, legato thing going on, chromatic. Three on the E, you're gonna, it's all technique. Hammer four, five, pull four, three. And then four, three, two, that's all pull offs on the B and G. And then four D, so slow, that run is. He's going like. Okay, then um, moving on. He goes right back into that groove twice. Rest, open G, back to the groove twice. And then. Very cool. Open two on the D, that's a hammer. And then open two G, half step bend. So you have. Then, and uh, so half step, you're just bending one fret. It's got a rest and then pull off from two to open. Alternate pick, two open G and D. And then fourth fret D, half step bend. So. Moving on, 13 seconds in, section 1A again, two times, that's said. That whole part. So it does that um, two times, and then section 1B again, you'll see no A. I usually put like a star, but I was thinking about maybe switching to an A, and then the next one would be a B, because usually it's like an A ending and a B ending tacked onto the end. This song was the best one to have that work for me but um anyways it's self-explanatory there you don't play the a section which when you see that a all the way through to the end but you play all the part before it and then you would continue on at 22 seconds open two g half step bend and then you'll recognize this two pull open and then two open palm mute alternate pick on the g and d so it's 
right back into the groove. So into that twice, rest, open G B, twice again. So it's and then we go to the top of page three. Open hammer two on the D, open G. And he does a lot of these cool little um, short things. A 12D slide pick open twice. You'll go. Then, right after that, bend behind the nut. This is the nut. It's probably going to knock my guitar out of tune. Most it does. I don't know why it doesn't on his, but you'll go. And then I open B and G. Um, down, up, down, open A, but then bend behind the nut on the A. So it's open G, do that again. So it's and then one more on the nut, but just a slow bend release. Wow, I stayed in tune. Awesome. Section 1C, 27 seconds in, 5 hammer 7A, 5D. And then this is a funky part that he does. Um, he so we have, and then he goes into this string mute. Um, so it's. Uh, mute the D, and then 5, mute, mute, 5, follow the picking. Which is just alternate picking for that. And then continue on mute five, mute, mute five. And then slide. So. Um, another cool little trick here to bend to a G major chord. Two E muted A, open D. Strum it, but bend this a half step on the E string. Do it three times. You'll go. Five hammer seven A five D, and then some more funky stuff. He'll go mute four mute mute three. So it's and then mute two 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 palm muted, and then a one. And then 7G, middle finger slide to 14. And some of these riffs just pass so fast. And then 12, 15, 12 on the B, that's hammer pull. And then 14G slide to 16. Or just actually slide it up to around there. Because he does that again, but 15, 17, 15 on the B. And then 16 slide back on the G. So it's really like... Does it two, let me see, I think two times, no, three times, and then uh, 12 on the B, you're going to hammer pull to 15, and then 14, 12 on the G. 36 seconds in, it's like a sweep, but he's starting on the uh, 14 D, you're going to palm mute 12 G B, so it's... And then upstroke to 15 E. And it's four times. And then, so after four times, do it again, but pull off from 15 to 12. And then 15, 12, B, and G. And that's alternate picked. Palm mute, down up, 14, 12, D. And then half step bend 14 G and then 14 12 slide. Thirty nine seconds in, some tapping. Um, he uses his pick sometimes. Sometimes he uses his finger. Um, it's all, all on the G. You're gonna go 13 pull 12, 13 pull 12, and then 11 10. So you're gonna want third, second, and first finger. 12, 10, or 12, 11, 10. You'll go five times. And then move it up a half step so you have 
until you get up to 16 on the tap. So slow it's... Great stuff. Okay, top of page four. That gets us through the last one. The and then 15E, 18B. Hit them both, bend it a whole step. Again. Then go on the E, 15, 17, half step, bend, release. And then 15. Alternate pick. 17, 15B. 16, 14, 12, G. So. And then 14 half step bend, and then 12. Alright, and then follow your double dots when you see them too. Because um, you got the, the start of uh, some double dots right here. 45 seconds in. Another kind of sweep thing happening on the GBE, but it's ending up on 12 high E. Do mutes, go, or 12 hammer 15, take the pick, tap 18, slide 20, slide back, pull 18, or, or you are on the 18, then go 15, 12, and you can do that three times, so it's. Really cool. He does, I think, another one like that uh, coming up. Um, after that, three times we go 15, pull 12 on the B, and then 14, 12, 14 on the G. 14, 12, 14, half step bend, 14, 12. Which he did that earlier. Then he repeats that. You'll see the double dots. So you do the whole thing, all that. Um, but only do them two times. And you don't do the. Instead, you're just gonna go uh, back to the the tapping two times though. That part twice, and then fifth fret E slide to 15, and then 14 12 D, and then. Oops, I lost it. Where's that at? 12-15. Slide it a half step and slide it a half step. So. Good stuff. Uh, moving on from there. 52 seconds in, some repeats. Section 1A, no A section. And that'll take you into this. 7677, A, D, G, B. Slide to 10. Step, another half step. So it's and then 10A slide to 14 and then 12G. Section 1A again, no A. Then this is some really crazy stuff. I'm all into guitar tricks. I've never done this one. He's playing on the G. I thought it was a whammy pedal. And he's pinch harmonicking and pressing behind the net, the nut here. Um, bend release and he does that on the G, B, and E. And then the E. I don't want to bust a string, but. Surprised it stayed in tune that good, but yeah. Pinch harmonic. So kind of in the middle, but back just a hair because anywhere between the pickups you can get different. Uh, pinch harmonic frequencies so if you want to match his but that's a really I thought that was a really creative thing he did there sounded like a whammy pedal 58 seconds in section 2a 50 or like I said 58 seconds in 2g 3b hit them both bend the G then go down up down so it's hold the bend and then the uh, down up down that last down is just 2g so it's Release it and then pick the open G. Do that three times. And then bend. And then don't bend. And then open three twice. Doesn't 
does it again. But on the second one, he'll go. Um, he'll hit the two without bending twice, and then you'll see 103 slide to four, and then three, five, three on the B that's hammer pull. He does a little concept with that. Four slide on the G to 12, and then B10, hammer 12, pull 10. So it's. And then 12 slide 16, and then 15, 17, 15, hammer pull on the B, and then an open G. So you have. Oops. Just great part after great part, and that's what I noticed in this song. Um, this part, really tough, man. He's using his fingers, um, thumb on the 5D, 